Hello, my name is uh, Kyle Pierre, and today I'm going to be talking about page rank, what it is, how it works, all that fun stuff. So, first a little bit of a background on page rank and what it is. Uh, it was initially developed by Larry Page and Sergey Brin to rank web pages in search engines. And as the bolded words there would imply, that's how it's, it got its name from Larry Page, his last name is Page, and it's used to rank web pages. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, so but it uh, ranks pages based on the number of backlinks pointing to them, and it assigns pages a total page rank based on the page ranks of the backlinks pointing to the page. Uh, it's okay if that sounds a bit confusing right now, I'll uh, kind of show you exactly what that means a bit later. And um, it's pretty much the base belief for all modern search engines, you know, Google, Bing, uh, Yahoo, Yandex, DuckDuckGo, any search engine that exists today uh, uses at least some variation of the PageRank algorithm. So we're going to kind of diagram this out because I think this is the easiest way to show you how PageRank kind of works. So in this diagram, each letter there represents a different page on this small little network of links and the arrows represent links pointing to a page. So here we can see, you know, that page A is linking to page D and then it's also linking to page C and page B is linking to C and page E is linking to C and then C is linking to D. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to assign all of these a, a value of 1. We're going to give each one one vote or one point to do whatever it is they want with. And then we're going to distribute that one vote that they have across all of the uh, pages that they want to vote for. Because the page rank algorithm what it does is it treats links like votes and you only have one vote so you have to split that one vote up uh, amongst all of the links that you have so if we just let this page rank flow real quick uh, we'll see what happened so <clears throat> uh, if we take a look here uh, all of these pages still have only one page rank because they don't have any links pointing to them. However, they are all pointing uh, links to this page right here, which is page C, uh, which also originally had a page rank of one. So we've got the one that was already here, plus one, plus one, plus 0.5 coming from uh, A page over here to C page, and that gets us a total rank of 3.5. Now the reason this is three, uh, this is 0.5 and this one over here is 0.5 is because remember this only has one vote but it's got two links coming from this one site and that means it's got to split up the vote. It can't vote one on each because it's only got one vote. So it's going to vote 0.5 on this one and vote uh, 1.5 over here. And uh, there was, in case anyone uh, was wondering, there's no way uh, that you can specifically say how much of a vote you want to count. It's just take the one and divide it by how many links you have on the page. But anyway, uh, so that 0.5 vote's going to come over here. Now we've got something interesting happening. Uh, because all of these pages linked to this page here, giving it a page rank of 3.5. However, this page, page C, is also linking to page D. And now because all of these pages were linking to page C and it got this higher page rank, a link from page C will now count as more votes than a link from page A, B, or E. So when page C votes uh, for page D, it's going to send it 3.5 votes because that's how many it has. Uh, and then it also gets the 0.5 vote from A and it gets a total of four votes plus the one that was already there and D has a total of five, a page rank of five. 
And then it was, as we can see here, uh, page D would be kind of classified as very important, and then page C would be just important, and then all the other ones, which just have a, a page rank of one, they don't have any links, uh, they would just kind of be average importance, you know, nobody's linking to them, uh, nobody really cares. So if we were to take a look at how this would actually affect a search results page, <clears throat> Uh, we would see that page D would be at the very top uh, if this uh, assuming page rank would be the only factor of course and that's because page D had a total page rank of 5 in the end because it had that page or uh, page rank flowing from page C and it also had that page rank flowing from page A giving it a total of 5. Uh, then page C would come in second because it had a page rank of 3.5 because remember it had page rank flowing in from uh, you know page A, page E, and page B. Uh, so it gets a 3.5. But then page A, E, and B, they didn't have any links pointing to them. So they're just kind of going to sit there at the bottom in uh, just completely random order. Uh, those would normally be sorted based on another algorithm, like maybe how many times the keyword showed up on the page uh, to try to decide which one of the bottom few is the most relevant. And that's basically how the page rank works. The ones with the highest just naturally float to the surface, at least in a search engine that's entirely based on page rank. Uh, obviously, Google has gotten a lot more advanced than so have all the other search engines. Now, you might be thinking, uh, if this page rank algorithm is all based on uh, based on how many po uh, how many votes you can get from around the web, then if you just like go out to a bunch of web pages and just get a link to your page on all of those web pages, um, you know, then your web page gon is going to get lots of votes and it's going to rank high, right? Well, not necessarily, uh, because th th this was a practice um, but really between 2005 and 2010, but then in 2011, Google released an update to their searching algorithm called Panda, uh, which was focusing on uh, kind of getting rid of spammy and low-quality uh, links. Uh, and a few other things as well, but mo mostly spam and low-quality links. And what that did is it really emphasized getting high-quality links over low-quality links. Meaning that, um, you know, getting, like, one high-quality link would be equivalent to getting... Actually, let's, let, me, let me make this a bit more specific getting one link from a site that would have a page rank of 10 compared to getting you know uh 10 links from 10 sites that all have a page rank of one the the link from the page rank of 10 site is still going to be worth more although they're technically mathematically equivalent if you were to kind of look at them uh, but this algorithm makes quality links just worth a lot more than lower quality links. Uh, and that's just their way of doing it. And as far as at the time of this video, that's still how they do it. Okay, so uh, that's it. Here are some related topics if you want to check them out. I've got videos on most of these. And uh, thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you later.